Hello, hello, hello. How's everybody doing today? Me, the Touch Fuzzy, again. Uh, we missed last week because of various things that were going on. I actually can't even remember what it was last week that caused me to miss, but we did. But this is the fourth, or in four weeks, the third time I've actually made it, so we're doing much better than we have been. This one will also be probably a little bit shorter. I'm going to be working on one specific thing, and once I get that thing done, I'm probably going to be done. So let's jump to it. So the thing we're doing today is um, not going to move us any further in getting this game done. I know that, like, you know, that's kind of annoying to, to some people. I get I get nowhere very fast because I, I just am very slow and I work on a lot of things. But we want, I want to work on some water auto tile stuff because this is mostly going to show you, like, MZ has a lot of really cool features in the way it does light layering and how you can manually layer it that the default graphics don't really take advantage of as much as they should. Um, but because you can like layer things in any order you want to, including A tiles, which before had to be on the base layer, um, you can do some neat things with water. And recently, um, though she wrote it like about a month ago, um, on the blog, I had put up this tutorial by Avery. Um, it's a bunch of setup tricks on how to do like some neat things with water auto tiles. A lot of it is stuff that I really thought was cool. I think all of this is really, really useful. The waterfall tricks are really good and make waterfalls look so much better. Um, and I'm going to do some of it, though not all of it. And also I'm going to, I have some other ideas that are related. Um, I, I kind of want to see if I can do... Um, make my water edges like layered even more than what but what she did was really cool um, and her waterfall stuff is probably I'm literally just exact copy how she did the waterfall stuff so I may not get to that today I, I really want to focus on the water auto tiles are they're like magnets how do they work that's an old meme, I'm sure. I'm sure someone knows it, though. Um, so first I wanted to, like, find which water I actually like the most to use as the base for this. So the this is the normal water. I, I don't like every water having that same... Um, like, technically, yeah, you can use the different ones to get the bottom base. But I kind of like having a base to the water that's, like, the world map water has a cooler base right because it's it doesn't have a bottom showing so you don't have to worry about what you're uh, what you're going over with it so i want to use the water base from the base from the world the world tiles this right here um then I want to know which of the outside layer things I like. I think I do like this one, which actually in in um uh, in this actually the the this and this is exactly the same, I think. It may not be exact. I know that it it is the exact as far as the structure. I think the coloring is slightly changed. I I think that's it. Is that looks right to you, right? Hold up, I know how to make sure that back this. We're just gonna. So that was the middle one. Just put it on top of it and then do some opacity change to see if. Yeah, those rocks are in the exact same places. The only difference is the tone of it. Um, but I, I think this is easier to cut from. I don't know, is it? I think that's gonna, uh, I think cutting from that will actually help because it's closer enough, closer, closer enough, close enough to the tiles, to the, uh, rock color themselves that when I cut, it won't be as big of a deal. So let's get rid of that layer. So what I want is this outside 
with this coloring. But I like the darker color. I don't like this really, really bright water. I prefer my water to be um, look a little more blue, less. I don't know what color that is. A little more dark blue and a little less sky blue, I guess. Um, so what I'm going to do is. Is that like, okay, so here on the the outside, I'm going to cut this outside out completely. Where we just have this ring of rocks and then the water on the inside. And cut this to transparent. And what this will do is when we... Um, oh man, my head. Okay, so when we place this, we just put this on a t uh, second layer. And we go directly on top of whatever our base layer is. And we'll have something a little more versatile you can put it on anything but let me and the other thing is is that i only have to cut this once because once i cut this first one i can duplicate that cut on the outside on the other ones but let's see i'm not really good at this i think Will the how will the magnetic lasso tool? It's not gonna like this. It's too back. Let's see if I can get what I can get with like quick select. It's honestly not that bad though. I don't need to select anything. I just need to maybe I should pull this this specific piece out. Let's let's grab just the first frame of it and put it in. Another thing, as always, because I did make a new, when you're working on tiles, always do the 24 by the, the 48 by 48 with 24 by 24 subsection grids. Just makes it way easier to work with. All right. I'm gonna put the first um, that in. Let's see how it will work if I just, if I just magic. I don't, I, it's because like I said, this is what I was talking about where I was like, because this outside color is such a similar color to the rocks, it makes it a little easier because if I leave just a little bit of it, it may not be noticeable when I put it on other things. It may be noticeable and I may have to do a little bit of touch up, but we'll see how this is going to look in a second. So let's save our, our new A1. Um, let's get a new map because I don't want to mess up any of my existing maps. New. New, new. Let's go. I'm going to put the experimental tile set on tile. Base. I realize also that I have made a mistake. I, I, I'm not going to be able to tell how well this looks in full. Like this won't have any animation because I'm just copying the same layer over and over again. But it will show if the outside edge looks good and how much I need to refine the outside. Inside corners. I've not used MV3D, so that probably does really, really, really mess with um, flatten this with how auto tiles work. Oh no, gotta undo. Control Z, not flatten. Merge visible. I keep forgetting flatten will get rid of your transparency. I also realized like this time when using it that when I, because I, I, the way I cut my screen when I'm um, streaming. I cut this top bar off of MZ because it doesn't show anything useful to you guys anyway. And it gives me a little more room to put uh, the thing down here, the little banner thing, the bar. Uh, but with Photoshop, it's removing my file image layer, all that stuff up here. So I don't know if you guys know what I'm doing up there. All right, so this is saved. So we need to, I said I put it on six, so we need, a1, 
It was called New A1, I think, is what I named it. All right, let's give me Eric for the outside A2. All right, okay. Let's just drop some grass and start. I need to go off a layer. We can see how this looks. I think I need to probably, yeah, I need to do like a little bit, because I, I can see the outside edges where there's a little bit of that old base color. Um, let's see, like, how it looks with different backgrounds, because that's going to help. Like, I'm pretty sure it's going to look really good with this one. But see, the difference is, is now with the water thing. Um, I don't have to have a different water tile, auto tile, for every uh, connecting thing. It also lets you do <clears throat> stuff like this. So let me go to layer one and be like, okay, that didn't. Let's. You can do things like this. Oh, that made a mistake. And see, with most auto tiles, you couldn't do this. See how it's like just le going straight up and matching right there? With most auto tiles, this would be, with most of the water auto tiles, you couldn't match them directly because you don't, it would look weird where two different types of terrain match together. Let me go back. But really, I think that I just, I don't need a lot. What I need to do is go, all right, let me just back up. I think if I do an expand by one pixel, so what you could do is go select, uh, modify, expand, and this will expand how big your selection is. And if I go one pixel, it'll pull in one more pixel. This may be a little too much, but we'll see. Yeah, see, I don't like, cause it's, I, I need to, <laughs> it's making a mistake right here. Um, I can copy paste that back and do it manually. What looks okay through YouTube? Yeah, I it, it's it's just like a very 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 minor outside cut. It's not much. I I'm I'm probably being a little bit picky, and in fact, I probably shouldn't be as picky as I'm being. But I know I'm I'm just like that. I didn't want to mean to cut. I meant to copy. All right, and now I need to like do over here. That needs to go under the layer, so I need to erase mo like I need to do this. And go to this layer and cut that out. Did I no thing? Go into this layer to cut. And I just need to cut. I may have been right the last time. So I'm going to save this as a different file to see if I'm I made a mistake. Oh, stop that. See what I'm doing. Why does it want to jump two pixels? I want you to jump two pixels. Let's save this up. 
file, save copy, ping, new A1. Made a mistake and forgot to. Uh, oh, I have a. All right. The control. Oh, yeah. He did. What have you guys done this week? Anything exciting? I I have I can't even remember what I've done. I think I got a lot of stuff done around the house. Which is not exciting, but is nice. So I knew I need to do All right, let's see. Tools. I almost feel like I I was better before. Maybe. Hmm. I think I know what I need to do. So, so what I'm gonna do is that when I got rid of that outside, it also got rid of a little bit of a uh, border. We're gonna a game. What what what's your game like? Apparently, hadn't saved. So anyway, what I was saying is like, so like I took the border out and I can't tell if that's going to look good on, on any. Let me see what happens when I do that. Remember my, remember our tools, blah, blah, blah. Cannot do anything correctly today. I feel like it needs a, a border a little bit. And I got rid of most of the border when I cut. All right, getting, getting your uh, game design document good. That's actually good. I, I kind of skipped that step. I mean, I have like basic overviews, but I didn't. And I have so much in my head, which is a terrible way to go about it. I know. Um, I wonder if I can. So let's. Uh, I think I have an idea. Let's grab a dark color. Am I dark? Let's grab the code for that. This may may or may not work and may be very bad. We're going to see. What we're doing is putting a stroke on it, and very obviously, this is way too much. And I need the color to be what I'm meaning for it to be. And I also need it. I wonder if I can I put it at 0 0.5. What will that do? Nope, can't. Um, so I need to like give it some opacity. And we need to uh, the position to be outside. And actually, this may need to be dark. So this is going to give it a little bit of shading around the outside. That's opacity. And this may actually make it look better, but we'll see. I need to cut it on the edges here, but... Like a dodgy, dodge trippy dream monsters to collect discs for an evil computer. Uh, there was a board game about collecting stuff for an evil computer from forever ago called Omega Virus. It was from like the 80s. Really did actually like it though. 
All right, so if I want to cut that, I need to rasterize this. And then I need to cut. It's going into the... This may or may not have been a good idea. I do not know. Um, but... That's how we make progress, right? Here. This is now C. All right, let's see with that like little sh shading layer around it, if that looks. Did I forget again? I think that I made it too dark. I think that the idea was not bad, but it's it's too pronounced. So let's go backwards. All right, you need to go back to where I... All right. So the stroke needs to have less opacity. I also may just be wrong. I may be wrong, and this may be a bit a terrible idea. Let's give it a really low opacity. 35. 40, maybe. Let's go with 40 and see what that is. You know what? I, 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 have, I, I know what I can do. Listen, duplicate layer. Like, let's get rid of the effects. Make this create clipping mask. No, that's not right. Clipping mask. This above it. And... There we go. Nope, that's not going to work. Release clipping mask. I need this to go. I know what to do. Ah! I'm gonna get this. I'm trying to get it to where I can adjust the uh, the stroke without having to undo everything every single time. I promise I know sort of what I'm doing. Okay, so Control Z, copy layer style, paste layer style, and then with this one we need the stroke to be 100%. And we're going to. Yeah, that's not working. What happens if... No, that's working. It'll be fine. Maybe. I think I just need to... Uh, I need to duplicate the layer and then... Leave it blank so that I can mess with it. And... Rasterize layer style. Don't you hate when there's a game that, like, talking about Rad, you're talking about, hey, you don't remember the name of that game, but don't you hate when there's a game that you know you played? You know. Um, and yet, it, just the name of it, do revert. I don't know why I'm having so much trouble today. We're just going to save this as, no, that's you. All right, now let's go back to the oh, and back. <sighs> maybe I was just wrong, or maybe it needs to be more the block, the color of the. I think when I changed the color of the stroke, I made a mistake. I think it should have. I should have made sure it was. Still more in the brownish range. So let's grab a brown. I feel like I have made so many mistakes on 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 trying to add this stroke. I, I know what I'm trying to do with it, 
and I, I feel like it would work if there was maybe some variation a little bit, but maybe a different blend mode. I don't think that will matter much when you have the opacity set. All right, and then, okay, so that's gonna be a lot lighter. And then duplicate the layer. One day I'll have all these windows. The one thing is, is like I normally use Photoshop on my left screen. And when I'm streaming, I have to throw it on my right screen because that's the screen I'm sharing with you guys. But the problem is, is that all the pop-up windows for menus in this are set to pop up on my left screen. So I have to drag them over. And then when I start using Photoshop again outside, I have to move all those windows back again. I don't know which ones. I wish there was a way to like set it to always pop up on whatever monitor the editor, the main editor is. Parasag is why we. I, I can. I'm. I'm not bad. I'm not good at uh at, at German pronunciation. I am not familiar with that. Uh, with her, her zag is why is we right all right let's see if i have ever fixed any i haven't even away and back i'm not sure i'm not sure if it helps or not I mean, it's not very n noticeable. I think the way to check is to like take this and then go back and forth with the other ones. So let's go. And look what it looks like with different ones. So there's new A1. Okay, that's much more Flipped, and then look. Let's look at a one, the regular a one. So things you learn. Think things you learn uh, when you do anything is that every single change I made just looks worse than the first one. The first one was already the best one. I'm so smart. Sorry, I had to mute my mic for a second. Let's see. Is this good? I, I mainly play Dragon Quest Final Fantasy Mario games. Yeah, I, I've... At one point, I had played almost every RPG that came out during the NES and SNES era. Like, clearly, if I did it at one point, I still have, but I don't remember most of them. But more recent games, I play a lot less of. I try to keep up with as many as I can, though. Just trying to get a better look at how this looks. All right, so this is like the a good out, outside. So what I wanted to do next was I was talking about... So I, I've discovered that every single change I made... I'm just going to go File, Vert, and go back to my normal... A1, not A1, it was the best one to begin with. So the next thing I need to do is we're going to cut the center out. And actually, this one doesn't even have to be an auto tile, I don't think. Because what I'm going to do is, well, actually, I don't need to cut the center out because I need to try to get that color, this color here. The first thing I need to do is get the other animation frames in here. Because right now it's all the same animation frame. Copy that over. Paste. And I should be able to go and just make clipping mask. Yeah. 
and then I can merge visible and that should get D3. Because since all we were doing was cutting that outside, um, then the outside should be the same on every single line. Because it's not the outside move, moving in the animation, it's just the inside. So the thing was, I wanted to get the coloring of this. And I kind of feel like instead of trying to cut, replace, then put the... Because one, one way I could do this would be to try to cut out this lighter blue put this behind it and then redo this outside edge. Um, but what I could do instead is see if I can se select the inside. Let's see what happens if I magic wand. Or because I'm in the wrong layer. So I want to get all the way to the outside. I have to zoom in some. And then see if I can do some color correcting to, to hit exactly. I need to change my tolerance to go to 30. Okay. I just need to make sure I don't accidentally grab some of the rock as well. If I don't get a little bit of the water, it should be fine because the very outside edges probably are not that much different. Like the the white highlights wouldn't be that much different anyway. I actually try to not change those. And then I can use some... I think also I can exact shape again. I don't think it goes up and down on the shore. So I think I can just... The first thing I, I know exactly what I need to do. Need to zoom a little bit further in. When working anything at this size, always zoom in further. I'm gonna be honest talking about like because you know I need I, I was gonna do more work on my game oh yeah I was gonna try to layer this wasn't I hmm I'll show you what I mean by layering it actually going to take this and cut it completely But no, I'll be honest, um, sometimes the reason why we end up doing some stuff like this on stream is, one, I do actually think it's neat because it shows off something that you can do specifically in, in MZ that you couldn't do in MV, which is the uh, using the uh, layers with water auto tiles to do different stuff that you couldn't have otherwise done. But also because I'm I'm st at a point in the game where I'm like, there's a lot of stuff I need to do off stream. I just haven't had time to do it. So it's better for me to jump on and do something like this than to do nothing. Because this is still fun. There's still, I hope that people either learn something or enjoy listening to me talk about nothing for at least an hour. Just slowly holding shift and clicking pixels on a screen for 10 minutes. I think this is going to take quite 10 minutes. All right, now I need to do, also need to do the upper parts as well. 
And because I don't think they had the animation, the animation doesn't include going up and down on the rocks, which if I had been doing the animations originally, I probably would have tried to do. And maybe that's just a dumb idea anyway. Maybe there's a reason they didn't do it and I just don't know it yet. But because they didn't, um, all of this should be the exact same shape on every frame. I mean, to be fair, they're talking about like in standard, uh, uh, like you miss a lot of the little details, it, but that's actually kind of like the whole thing with pixels, right? With any pixel art, it's really nice because I really shouldn't have clicked. Oh, crap. Because it's a lot more forgiving than you think. Like, unless you zoom in, like, none of the stuff I do is incredibly uh, amazing looking at a zoomed in level. But because zooming in is just, you know, not how you do anything... in rpg maker like when you're actually playing you don't see these zoomed in levels it doesn't matter if like an edge that where i had edited doesn't really look that great because when you're playing you won't notice those tiny imperfections which is good it means that amateurs like me can do edits and the game still looks pretty solid that because I almost got the whole thing blow everybody's mind I don't think this will blow anyone's mind but because like one of the things I was thinking is like you know we could just have more than one base water too. All right, so what? Are, now I'm gonna go out. Cut. Huh. In reality, though, this is the this doesn't even have to be a water auto tile because there's no animation in this part of it. All the animation is on this, and so now I can try to do some color correction to make this and this look the same. Let's try that. All right, image adjustments. So looks like some differences in bright maybe brightness contrast can do it so if i lower the brightness a little bit the contrast some um, kind of almost it i feel like i need a little more contrast nope i feel like there is also um i know what i need to do let's do that and then we're gonna up the I mean, the thing is, is I'm not going to have this in the game, so it's not like I have to make it exactly the same. But I'm going to saturate it just a little more. Then bring the dark down, maybe. Let's start over. Control Z. I think I just need to do hue and... Uh... Oh... You know, I could do that thing that that uh, Jasmine showed me, but I'm also dumb and don't remember how to do it. That Arkea showed me. And I'm sure I could use, like, levels as well. Okay, so I need to up the contrast a little bit, I think. After I up the contrast, let's do saturation. And we're going to just saturate it more and then bring the. the... Huh. 
Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm dumb. I don't need to do this yet at all. I didn't redo move. Because first I need to bring these pieces down, the other parts down. So because the shapes are exactly the same, I can do the same thing I did before, which is, where is it? this one, yeah, copy that, paste it, drag it down. And then I can copy this over Let's move this above. Multiple copies of this. Let's hide this. For the then I can use and merge these three. And then use the, turn these back on, clipping mask them. So now I have the animations, but it's all the shapes of this layer. I think I did did not do quite a good job of cutting. We'll see. It'll work where what I'm doing anyway. Then I can merge this and this. Is this this bottom? Yeah. I can now do my <sighs> I wish I remembered how to do that thing that It's so funny because like I literally just learned how to do it, but I'd I'd have to go back. Um you never figured out mask layers. Mask layers is one of those things that's like pretty easy to do, a create clipping masks. It's pretty easy to do when once you finally understand it, all you have to do is put the thing you want to be clipped to the thing, the other clipped to right above it in layers and go and right click, create clipping mask. And it will, it will cut to whatever's on the layer below it. Um, the coolest things to do with that are actually like using a gradient um, to make something like fade um, and stuff like that, which is really neat. So I do need less brightness. So it needs to be, that, and then like a little more saturate or a little more contrast easier if I do this in a minus 40 plus 30 that's fairly close and then I want to do the one thing is can I turn up just the the Trying to think if I could. I was going to be preferred words. Preserve luminosity. Let's just give it some more, a little bit more color. Maybe a little bit more. I think plus 10 works right. Okay, okay, okay. So now what I was trying to do is I might need to open up some other things. So what I wanted to do is I'm going to like have this as one layer. Um, and then I'm going to take this and then I can take and do like some changes to this outer ring in like I can make it gray or I could make it a more reddish kind of rock or and then I can and this can go on any auto tile layer it doesn't have to go on animated because it's not animated and that gives me more still more versatility in how I put things together so I need to open up a tools and I need to go or no it's game open folder So 
So what I need is a variation on outside A2 so I can do some checking on how well this is working. Open with. All right, so let's get rid of some stuff I'm not using. Um, pretty much any of this for the moment. I may come back to it, but I not I do not need it at the moment. So let's copy from new A1 this right here. Let's merge and put it somewhere on the. All right, now I'm gonna like take and make another one. Nope, not zoom. I'm, I was just gonna really quickly look at the idea that I can take it and now make like a gray. Let's take the saturation out of it. I know this is gonna look perfect because it's, actually it doesn't look bad. But it's not going to look perfect because I just did it quickly, but it's just to show that I can make a different type of save this as a ping or like first I need to merge. Nope, not flatten. Misclick. I have my mouse sensitivity set to insanely high. Like anyone who uses my computer gets like really confused by how high my mouse sensitivity is set. And whenever I use anyone else's computer, I get really annoyed at having to feeling like I need to drag everything eight miles to move the mouse. But it does mean I misclick a little more often than I probably should. All right, and then we're going to go take this, going to cut, except this bottom part. I know I always use cut for instead of uh, clear, and I I don't know why. I think it's habit. It works, so it doesn't matter. I'm gonna file, save this one. Made file A to you. This this needs to be what I name it like B. E. I say there it is. Okay, so now we have that, and then I can grab like this and go on a third layer. Look at that. And so like now I can do that, and then immediately I can, if I want to change it, I can just... And I have like gray rocks now. And so I can make different variations of that border. And it will always look good. I, there's obviously some stuff I need to adjust, I think. I think I, like I can still see some brownish in the thing. But the basic concept of how I did it, I think worked really well. But let me, and then I can. Oh, did I accidentally get rid of my water? I like that. I do think, um, or what, oh, I, I see what I did. I accidentally put that, no, I keep putting it on the wrong layer. That's what I'm doing. Go back to that. So now I have this kind of water. Let's look at it would look like on one of these maps. So the, Okay, did I use any of that stuff I cut? I did. I can't. All right, we're making a, a copy. Gonna mess up some other stuff. But that's fine. 
So let's edit. So it's the outside one. I'm going to put it on six and then copy. Trust me, I know that looks terrible. Copy outside six. All right, now what I need to do is what did I not use where I can put this border back in? I didn't use that, so I can put the border there and the water is fine. Okay. Let's look at my outside tile set. Outside A1. I just need to cut this whole thing right here. Put this in. Put it in the right place. Then I had outside A2. I need to back up. All right, I do need to get this here. What I need to do is copy this somewhere where I can save it and go over here. What? I get this back to where it was. All right, so I didn't use this at this one. Draw and getting officially played during the side until 2009. Six. I don't care about six, man. I think six is not good. Uh, five, though, is amazing. Five has one of the better stories, I think. Um, I, I do not care that we didn't get six because I tried to play six and I the problem with six is that it feels dated. It feels more dated than five does to me. All right. So I know I am making a, a, a none of these are edited to begin with, so I can make like these quick changes. And if I don't like it, I can always uh, revert back to the originals. But Okay, so now I can take, I just need to put the, I need to layer this differently. So let's zoom out. And the first thing we need to do is layer one. Where layer one is, it just needs to actually, oh, this is gonna be a little bit of a pain. So on layer two, I'm gonna draw this in the grass or the, the new water. Nope. Actually, I think the easiest thing to do is me to do this. So let me uh, copy in. So no, I'm so dumb. I need to copy the uh, the water section. This has to be you know done differently because it's all layered. Go to layer two. There. Why did it not copy? Why is it not copying? Not copying. Oh, well, I'll just draw it. I will just draw it. This is like that, though I'm going to have to do shift clicking to get this right what am i doing i can just do the outline and then fill
doing that thing where I get quieter than I should. But I am thinking so hard about something very dumb. Okay, so this is that section right there. This just needs to be cross that's straight down. There. This is the here, and there is three across. And then we just do use. I think when I do this bottom, okay. Hmm. I do think uh, I don't think Dragon Quest V is the best Dragon. I think it's very high up there, but I don't think it's the best. All right, now I need to put grass. All right, so already that looks pretty good. I'm gonna put the the border around it. So three. I'm gonna have to make some. I can see. Actually, no, no changes. Everything is fine. Layer three, that's correct. Nothing is on layer three that's in the way. Could not be unfilled. Like the thing is, this takes a little bit longer to actually do in the editor, but it saves so much room on your tile sets to be able to do interesting different stuff that you couldn't do otherwise. Or, well, you probably could do it anyway, but I like layering it because it means every section can mix with every other section without having to... All right, so... This was, this is here, and there was another section right there. Same thing. Then I just need to. That to go here. There we go. Now let's go back. I like that. I like that a lot. I like that water better because I just think it's more vibrant uh do i want to sit here and try to figure out the waterfall time so the real thing like this was the thing i wanted to get done today was the idea of layering i had more water up here and i just did not notice i'm going to finish that at the very least As I said, when I started today, this was going to be a shorter stream again. I'm still getting used to streaming. So we can do longer ones and go back to doing two hours. Uh, also, I just really wanted to focus on this one thing. Um, the one thing that I do think is really neat. So I'm just going to go really quickly. I'm going to grab the actual tutorial and... So the only thing I worked on was really this part right here. And this shows where you can you can cut and get like oh if I do this then I can like what we were doing, right? You just go over the top of it and then you don't have to make a different uh, a different water for every different type of border. It's the same it can be one border 
for all of them. Uh, this also lets you do stuff like this, which is, is one of the things I think is neat, uh, is you can go right up to the edge of a, of a, like this kind of layer. I actually think one thing you could do is take this and cut the grass out of it, and you could actually put whole water under it and like go right up to the edge and not even have the grass line, but... So the next thing uh, she did that I think is really, really cool, and I would like to try this, but I want to try it off stream before I ever try it on stream because I don't know how I do it in Photoshop. Uh, she uses uh, graph, or she uses GIMP, I think, for most of her stuff. So like she uses the this the the regular wall in, inverts the colors, puts it over the top of the this. And uses a common like a fifty percent opacity HSV value, which is um, hue saturation and whatever the last one is, I can't think. Uh, and it by combining them, you basically remove that texture from behind the waterfall. And then she does uses it to make a semi-transparent waterfall that you can just put over other tiles, and like so you can see behind it. And then you can put things like put like doors behind it little caves behind it um and because also this means you don't have to have a different waterfall for every single variation of the wall it frees up room in your a1 uh just like doing the other thing does so what she does is like makes a variation of the top of the waterfall so that you can gradient the waterfall in and she turns that bottom part with the wash into a tile instead of that so it doesn't go over the edges of the waterfall edges and look like how nice this all looks so i would really suggest and i'm going to copy this in, in here that like what i did is like just the very beginning of this tutorial and i did a little variation in it that i pulled the my border out separate completely um and also i could like make completely different borders right like, I could just make a border that doesn't have... Like, I could try and make a border that looks more like this that matches up with this shaping. And you and have that as another different border. And I wouldn't have to have it in, in my A1 tiles. But I think... Do I want to change new A1? Yeah. No, no, I don't. I'm just going to go merge visible. Yeah, sure. And then close all these other ones. So I think this is where I'm going to end for today. I hope that it was interesting and entertaining. I do think that what I made ended up looking pretty good. I might actually take the, the saturation out a little bit. It is really bright blue, isn't it? I do prefer this water, though. I like not having the bottom showing because it means I can do it on different types of stuff. Oh. But let's go to our closing screen. I remember how to do any of thing in, in OBS. It was good to do a really quick stream today. Uh, we'll be back next week. I will probably, probably still be doing stuff like this next week because I still need to do a lot on the thing, on the game itself, uh, before I look at it. But I'm going to try to, I think I'm going to try to put the waterfalls together next week and do all the cool stuff like do the thing at the top where it slowly goes into it and do the stuff at the bottom where you have like a really nice crisp uh bubbles and stuff you like the saturation you think it's good i i think it works for this map the problem is is like if i run it over to the, like for instance this but then again i this is why i can cut into layers i can have different bottoms but, like, if I did it in this one, that level of saturation would look wrong. I would need a different base. But this is also a different tile set, so I could uh, use a different base and saturate it differently. But it looks good in this one, I do agree. All right, well, everyone, I was showing you guys stuff and I had the wrong thing. Hold on, I'm going to go back to live so I can show you what I was saying. I was saying it wouldn't look good on this map. Like, it wouldn't look good to be that saturated here. This one would need a little bit more desaturation de because it's inside in a cave. 
and also everything else is not as hypersaturated as you in a forest. But anyway, but on this map it looked really good. And thank you everyone who showed up. So it's uh, Axelanda and Wrath and Video Wizard, Alice Robinson, um, Nerd Mansion, DJ. Uh, hope everyone had a good time, learned something.